All right, I want to do um, this problem here, which refers to this graph right here. Um, I want to take a look at constructing a 95% confidence interval for um, adults from the south who say that traffic congestion is a serious problem and from the west who say that traffic congestion is a serious problem. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is constructing these confidence intervals, and I will be using the calculator for this, and then we'll um, make a comparison. Okay, so um, I'm going to get this directly into the calculator, but let's review what are the pieces that we need. Okay, so for a confidence interval for proportion, it's p hat plus or minus z sub c, times the square root of p hat times q hat over n. Okay, where p hat is the number of successes out of n trials. Okay, so for your calculator, you need x and n, and you also need your level of confidence. Okay, so we're going to be calculating a 95% confidence interval. Okay, so you're welcome to do this one by hand, but to save time, I'm going to go ahead and do this in the calculator. Okay, so let's go ahead and answer the first part. Okay, so the um, graph or the figure shows the results of a survey in which separate samples of 400 adults from each, from adults each from the east, south, midwest, and west were asked whether tra traffic congestion is a serious problem. Okay, so our sample size is 400, okay, for all four categories. Okay, so for the first part, um, we're told that we're looking at the information for the south. Okay, so um, p hat is already given to us. Okay, p hat is given to be 0.32. Okay, so for part A, we're given that n is equal to 400, and we're given the sample proportion is 0.32. Now, like I said, to get the information in the calculator, we don't need p hat directly, what we need is x and we need n. Okay, so we're given n and we're given p hat. So we're going to need to solve for x to get into calculator. And that's the same thing for stat crunch. Okay. All right, so if um, p hat is equal to 0.32, and n is equal to 400, I can just solve this relationship here. Okay, so x is equal to, basically I'm taking 32% of 400. Okay, so x is equal to 128. Okay, so now going to my calculator, I want to go to my um, stat menu, right arrow over to tests, and scroll down to one proportion Z interval. Okay. And then I want to um, put in the information. Okay, I just calculated X. What's really cool is if you uh, wanted to, you could go ahead and put in 0.32 times 400 right there, and it'll do the calculation within the function. Okay, or you could have just put in 128. Okay, my sample, see how it did that there? It's magic. Okay, my sample size is 400, and my level of confidence is um, 0.95. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so um, I'll go ahead and round to three decimal places. So I have 0.274 up to 0.366. Okay, so this is 95% confidence interval for P for the folks in the south. Okay, now I, want, I need to do the same process, but this time I need to do it for the West. Okay, so um, the sample size is the same. Okay, it's 400 for all four categories. Now um, my P hat is different though. For the West, 56% um, adults said that traffic, traffic congestion is a serious problem. Okay, so now P hat, um, Oops, p hat this time is 0.56, okay? So again, to get into the calculator, I need 
x. Okay. So again, I need to solve this relationship for x. 0.56 is equal to x over 400. So in other words, I need to take 56% of 400. So x is equal to 224. Okay, so again, I can go ahead and go directly to my calculator by going to STAT, right arrow over to TESTS, and scroll to one proportion Z interval. And I can put in my number of successes. Okay, so I calculated that to be 224. My sample size is the same and my level of confidence is the same. Okay, so now I'm going to round to three decimal places. Okay, so 0.511 up to 0.609. Okay, so that's a 95% confidence interval for P for the folks in the West. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at these two confidence intervals. Okay, so I'm looking at this one and I'm looking at this one. One thing I notice about these two intervals is that they do not overlap at all. This one stops at about 37%. And this one starts at about 51%. Okay, so this confidence interval is significantly higher than this confidence interval. So I could safely assume that the people in the West think traffic congestion is more of a problem than people in the South. Now, if there was overlap between these two intervals, then I could claim that there is no significant difference between the two. Okay, so later in this course, you'll be doing hypothesis tests for proportion for two samples, whether or not the proportions are equal. One way to approach that is to take the individual confidence intervals and see if they overlap. If they overlap, then yes, you could support a claim of um, equality between the two. But in this case, I don't have that. I have no overlap at all. Okay, so I could safely say that um, folks in the West um, really do believe that traffic congestion is um, worse of a problem than those from the South.